Well, I think that Splice fundamentally is a creature movie for adults because it pays homage to all the things that one would expect in a Frankenstein kind of story, but it deals with aspects of the relationship that the creators and their creation have that I think most movies don't ever deal with. It's a genre film, but it's a thoughtful genre film. Our interest in films has always been to make films that are cut above what is expected within that genre. So if we're making a straight ahead horror movie, then the idea is to make it a more thoughtful, intelligent horror movie. Curiously enough, what I find scary about the splice is not the cloning or the, or the genetic manipulation or the splicing of genes and all these things. What I find is that uh, it's a uh, sort of a horrible family story. The, the difference between this and that, the kind of heroes fighting the the, the monster is that they're nurturing the monster in this case, and in many ways they are the monsters. There's something about Splice that's, um, that's very uh, uh, archetypal. It's one of the reasons why I felt this film had to be made, because the themes that it deals with are eternal. The, no the notion of, of falling in love or becoming infatuated with something that's not entirely human is goes back to ancient myth. Part of what I loved about this story is that it shows how young people um, can be so enthusiastic about something. And theoretically, it is a very positive thing. I think, you know, the best horror films or sci-fi films always are dealing with really essential human things. Splice is a horror movie. It's, it's a thriller, it's a science fiction film, but it is a horror movie. It, but it deals with the real horror, and the real horror isn't creatures tearing people's heads off or eating things. Real horror has to do with human elements. There's that thing that Guillermo del Toro said about this script, which I think is so totally accurate, which is that the, you know, the best kind of horror films are morally dangerous. In so many ways, it crossed the line, uh, which I think is part of what the horror science fiction genre should do, is to cross those lines. I think it's really important to like push where our fears lie, you know, even if they're ones that we don't want to address or type take seriously. We're living in a, in a world that is now become, science fiction has become uh, a reality. I felt clearly Clive and Elsa in creating Dren and the way they create her make mistakes, just as any parents inevitably make mistakes, um, but that they're well-intentioned. Dren maybe should exist, and that maybe this science is not against nature, but it's really a part of nature and it's a part of our natural evolution. Is Splice a film for this era or the previous era? Only time will tell, but I do feel that it, it, the, the central notion of are we going in the right direction or the wrong direction, which is raised by this film but not answered by it, is very relevant at this moment because I just don't think we know.